everybody. Welcome to Dover Plains Libraries Online Storytime. I'm Miss Lisa and this is our fifth week doing this. I hope everybody's doing great. I still miss everybody and I hope we can see each other pretty soon. Okay, we're gonna get started. Ready? Here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, we have a lot to count, so help me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. All right, let's find out what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yesterday was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And tomorrow is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right, we're going to do our weather song. Get ready. Here we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it cloudy? Is there a rainbow? Is it rainy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it snowy? Is it sunny? Is it stormy out today? Look out your window wherever you are and yell out what it is at your house today. Right now it is sunny here. So that makes me happy. Where's my son? Oh, here's my son. So here's my son. I'm putting my son on. So today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. All right. So we're going to get ready. I have some stories for you. The first story I have is The Duckling Gets a Cookie by Mo Willems. It says, I do not like the title of this book. I do not like the look of that title. <laughs> the Duckling Gets a Cookie. Here we go. Hello. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it? Politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? So you got a cookie with nuts just by asking? Politely. I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. I'll ask for a French fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Right now, I'm asking why, 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 why? Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. I asked to stay up late. Oh yeah, I'm the askingest pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? No! It's not fair. Ducklings get everything. 
Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I could give it to you. And another thing. How about what? You're giving me that cookie with the nuts. That is so nice. Thank you, thank you very much. Mmm, chomp. This is one cool duckling. Chomp, yes sir. Bye. May I have another cookie please? But this time, no nuts. <laughs> Do you like cookies with nuts or with no nuts? I like nuts. Okay, the next book is called Friendly Day by Midge Kelly and Charles Fuge. When Cat caught Mouse outside his house, Courageous Mouse cried, Hey, put down that plate and see the date. It's Friendly Day today. A day for sharing, a day for caring, when everyone is nice. When frog reads snail, a fairy tale, and cats do not eat mice. Well, fancy that, exclaimed the cat. I'll have to spread the word. He quickly strode across the road and told dog what he'd heard. Dog stared wide-eyed and then replied, that's such a great idea. You mean to say today's the day, that one day in the year? When parakeets bring tigers treats and rhinos take the time to knit new mittens for helpless kittens and sing a nursery rhyme? Cat cried, yes, yes, and sharks play chess with all the little fishes. And Old Gray Moose pours orange juice for anyone that wishes. And even Mole comes out his hole to play I spy with goat. And Chimpanzee makes herbal tea for ostrich's sore throat. Dog said, oh boy, what joy, what joy, and hip, 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 hooray. He called, hey bear, are you aware today is friendly day? When foxes croon all afternoon to entertain the geese, and little birds tweet soothing words of hope and love and peace. Bear scratched his head, and then he said, it is a lovely thought. To think that we could even be as kindly as we ought. To think that boons hand out balloons to all the butterflies makes tears of bliss and happiness come pouring from my eyes. But dog, said Bear, are you aware there's really no such thing as friendly day or any day when wasps and bees do, don't sting? I must insist, it doesn't exist. It is a lovely lie. Poor dog, poor cat, they hated that. They both began to cry. Inside his house, the tiny mouse was glad he'd slipped away. He'd tricked the cat, but now he sat and longed for friendly day. Meanwhile, outside, the dog still cried. The bears gave him a pat. Oh, do cheer up, my dearest pup. I have a plan, said Cat. We'll talk to Snail and Snake and Whale. We'll put the word to rights. We'll make them see how things could be if only no one fights. Dog thought of how friendly cow might help a crocodile, how centipede might do good deeds, he smiled a watery smile. Then arm in arm with old world charm and so much to be done, the three friends strode off down the road towards the setting sun. The end. Well, every day should be friendly day.
I think that's a great idea. Okay, guys, it was really nice reading you some stories today. I hope everybody is having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Miss you all.